Well, welcome back to Living Local. It is time to check in with Movie Mike for what's new in theaters. Mike Schultz, arts editor for the River Cities Reader, back with us again. And boy, we got a lot between now and Christmas. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. let's get moving. All righty. So I'm we'll ready. Start with what you <laughs> liked last week. You liked Spider Man into the Spider Verse. I really liked Spider Man yeah. into the Spider Verse. This was this was great fun. I had a good feeling about it. The yeah. preview was it was really kind of mm -hmm. exceptionally colorful and fast moving, and the whole two hours was as well. It's uh yeah, it's a uh, new Spider Man, uh, young kid gets bit by a radioactive, sp we know the story, yeah. uh, but then there becomes a hole in the space-time continuum and all these different Spider-Men from all wow. these different universes all plop down together to, uh, to fight evil. It's a riot. It's yeah. a blast. It's but it's also really emotional. It's it, it's hmm. moving surprisingly. Yeah. The story is great. It uh, it's kind of like a perfect comic book movie. So maybe we just need to make these things animated more often because it, yeah. it, it worked. It, it really worked well. It does look fun it for was sure. It great. Yeah, that's worth checking out this se Christmas yeah. season. And uh, one you just absolutely did not like was the mule. The mule. Okay, so I love Clint Eastwood. Yes. We all love Clint yes, Eastwood. We do. It's fine. But <laughs> what I what I wrote in my review. And I meant this. It's in the first five seconds of the movie. He refers to his his Mexican laborer's uh, car as a taco truck, and I'm like, okay, here we go. <laughs> so he has now become like the elderly uncle at Thanksgiving he who has. tells his casually racist stories, and you're just <laughs> grinning through teeth, just going, mm-hmm. Yep. Stop talking any time now. Yeah. It was like that for two hours. Okay. Um, the movie's not good on top of that. The, the plotting is, is kind of weak and the timing isn't good. And uh, But really, it's just two hours spending with Clint being Clint because yeah. he can get away with it because yeah. he's 88 and, you know, his, and the audience will love it regardless. Yeah. And so I saw it at a sold-out theater. They loved it. I did not. Yeah. So we'll just well, leave it at that. I wanted right. to like it. All right. Just trying. Well, maybe somebody will like it for <laughs> sure. Make a little right. bit of money. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we could probably talk about for an hour about all the movies that are coming out here through yeah. Christmas, but we don't have that kind of time. Speed round. So we're just lightning round right. here. All right, Mary Poppins Returns. Mary Poppins Starting Returns. Out. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it takes place 30 years after the original. The kids that she was taking care of are all mm -hmm. grown up, and uh, now they've got <laughs> problems of their own again. Of Mary course. Poppins Returns uh, with uh, Emily Blunt in the lovely. lead. Lovely, Can't lovely, wait. Lovely. Lynn manuel Miranda, mm -hmm. uh, Meryl Streep, and uh, uh, Angela Lansbury is in this thing, and Dick Van Dyke. Yeah. I can't wait. It's, I'm super yeah. excited. It does look good. It looks, it looks great. Like a lot of fun. And the original is so, so good. Yeah. Yeah. So. Fingers we'll crossed. Yeah. I can't wait. All righty. And something that we're hoping's fun, but mm, scared. Aquaman. <laughs> Aquaman. Yeah. I'm not sure what needs to be said. It's Aquaman. It's, it is it's, Aquaman. It's the Aquaman origin story about how he becomes the leader of Atlantis. And you've got Nicole Kidman <laughs> as his mom. And you've got Patrick Wilson as his half-brother who wants to take over the throne. And Ugh. Aquaman doesn't want the throne. And uh, whatever. The previews look... It looks it looks dull to me. Yeah. It just doesn't look terribly exciting. Um, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt, yeah. but I'm, I'm not feeling great about it. I'm nervous about it. Patrick Wilson is not a villain. He's no, not villain he's not. No, no. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bland. You yeah. know, it's like all right. Well, it's, uh, yeah. we'll see. All righty, and uh, Transformers back at it again with uh, Bumblebee. Yeah, it's our sixth Transformers movie, I believe. Uh, but this one's a prequel. There, there it is. is. There Never say go. there's no new ideas Whoa. in Hollywood. Uh, so it shows how Bumblebee came to the planet and turned into a, you know, I guess a Volkswagen. And uh, you've got Haley Steinfeld, who's a great young actor. Mm -hmm. um, plays the girl who finds him, and uh, but she activates, I guess, some sensor beam that lets the Decepticons know that he's there, oh, and then no. they have to come down. I don't know, but the reviews are surprisingly not bad on this one, and Michael Bay did not direct it, which is kind of exciting ah, right what there. What a refresher. Well, it means it won't be three hours yeah, long, so, <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, for sure. sure. Okay, we'll see how it is, and welcome to Marwin, Steve Carell. Welcome to Marwin. Looks really interesting, yes, uh, based on a true story about a, a, a guy who got uh, attacked in a bar uh, and lost all of his memories of his mm. previous life and in order to recuperate he kind of builds this town out of little kind of tiny little wooden soldiers I yeah. guess you know makes a World War II town and so it's about him coping with uh, the tragedy and uh, uh, it looks kind of visually spectacular yeah, it's it by does. Robert Zemeckis who did Forrest Gump of course and mm -hmm. Contact and uh, and uh, Steve Carell plays the lead I love Steve Carell in dramatic yeah. mode mm -hmm. big fan so uh, me both. could be good. It could be really good looking. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. very excited for this one. I've seen the previews for a long time They've been time running them now. for a long time. And yeah. It just, it looks very, I hope it's not too easy, but it does look very dramatic and, Absolutely. you know, and the visuals like you talked about. Plus, yeah. Steve Carell's in everything right now. He really is. So He's why all not over have the place. One? Yeah, go for it. I can <laughs> see him in everything. I'm good. A lot of fun. All righty. And we have second act. 
Second act, yes, uh, Jennifer Lopez comedy. Uh, it's kind of like, if you remember Working Girl, uh, this mm -hmm. was a movie with Melanie Griffith about three decades ago. Okay. It's about uh, the, the manager of a superstore who gets passed over for a promotion, and so her friends make up a fake social media presence for her, saying that she has all these credits and experiences that she does not have, oh. but people buy it, uh -oh. and they hire her for this big, uh, for this, you know, big job that she's not remotely qualified for. Right. I'm guessing she's gonna pull it off. <sighs> just, I don't wanna, no spoilers, I mean, that's yeah. just, Ah, seems rude, but uh, <laughs> eh, Jennifer Lopez is fun. You know, she I mean, is. that looks like ha a harmless two hours. Mm -hmm. And, you know, compared to what else is opening, there, there aren't a lot of options for people who just want to see something kind of light and frothy. Yeah, so, yeah. that's not a bad idea for exactly sure. Exactly right. All right, something not too light and frothy, Mary Queen of Scots. Mary Queen of Scots, yes. Yeah. This one's a little bit more dramatic, <laughs> it looks like. Yes, this is about the 16th century battle between uh, Mary Stuart and uh, Elizabeth I, the Queen of England mm. and the le leader of Scotland, their cousins. And uh, so it's all about kind of the power grab between the two of them. But two tremendous actors in those roles, man. Yeah. Uh, Shirsha Ronan, uh, Shirsa Ronan. I can never pronounce Shirsa that. Ronan, Shirsa yeah. Ronan. There we go. Yeah, there and go. Uh, Margot Robbie is Elizabeth. Uh, and it's certainly going to look like a million bucks. Probably many millions would be my <laughs> guess. Yeah, it's going to be some, of some serious production design <sighs> in that. But uh, yeah. yeah, again, a little change of pace. It's a real nice variety this year. Yeah. Now that we don't have a Star Wars movie opening this oh, Christmas, there you go. there's actually room for all. Nice little break. Yeah, there, for right? sure. Yeah, it, <laughs> it does look very visually intense. Margot mm -hmm. Robbie kind of terrifies me with the makeup. Man, work, so yeah. I'm thinking there could be some Oscar nods. For just sure. With costuming. For yeah, that. or maybe a performance nod for her because she looks tremendous. She in that. does. She I can't does. wait. I'm we'll, a big we'll, fan of hers anyway. We'll see. And yeah. uh, something that has gotten some buzz already uh, the Dick Cheney. Haha. <laughs> Film, biopic, satire, I biopic. guess. You know, Vice. Vice, yeah. yeah. It's the Dick Cheney story, but yeah. it is being written and directed by Adam McKay, whose mm -hmm. last movie, of course, was The Big Short, so uh, which explained the financial crisis in really sar satiric and sardonic ways. Uh, yeah. And so this one promises to kind of be more of the same, but you got Christian Bale as Dick Cheney. Yeah. You've got Amy Adams as his wife, Lynn. You've got Steve Carell. Hey, who knew? What do you know? A movie with Steve Carell. Crazy. <laughs> as Donald Rumsfeld. <laughs> you've got Sam Rockwell as... Uh, George Bush. Yeah. Uh, you've got Tyler Perry is Colin Powell. It's uh, that's an all-star <laughs> cast already, is. and there's plenty more. Yeah, but it could uh, the reviews. Yeah, are really strong. It's up for more Golden Globe nominations than any other movie. Um, so mm -hmm. somebody likes it. Clearly, yeah, I'm looking forward to I, it. It does look like a lot of fun. Yeah, not definitely. Lie to you. It's something that I wasn't too excited about, but you've kind of got me a little more excited. Holmes and Watson. Holmes and Watson. I know I shouldn't be excited for this. <laughs> it is a yet another Sherlock Holmes and Doctor Watson yeah. story, but it's Will Ferrell and John C. Riley, and I'm sorry, those two crack me up together. They do. Step Brothers is so great. It's you know, it's such it's such fun, and it just looks like just stupid slapstick and and <laughs> visual jokes. But I laugh every time he holds up like that old time camera for the selfie it's yeah. like I'm, that just cracks me up i don't know uh, why i've oh. seen that preview like four or five times and every time i'm like you're not gonna laugh this yeah. time don't do it don't do don't, it but you don't do. give him the satisfaction but you and do. i yeah every time every time <laughs> i'm so embarrassed uh, it might be terrible to, but eh, you yeah you know i'm looking forward hopefully to hopefully not a bad way to spend a couple hours <laughs> yeah on yeah. christmas day all right well that's a lot it is a lot. Well, that was it. Good Wish luck. me luck. Ah, Have fun. thank hey, you. See? Appreciate on top it. of it. Yeah. Okay, in, <laughs> in review, real quick, new movies coming out. Here we go. Mary Poppins Returns, Aquaman, Bumblebee, Welcome to Marwin. We've also got Second Act, Mary Queen of Scots, and then next week on Christmas Day, Vice, Holmes, and Watson. And you can read Mike's movie reviews of all these on the uh, latest reader on Stance Everywhere and online at rcreader.com. And we're going to be right back with more Living Local after this.